Okay, so we're gonna, uh, Paul is gonna do our uh, presentation today. Um, some insights, random thoughts. I think everything from Paul is random as far as what I can tell. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, we're gonna, uh, I will record this and put this up on YouTube. I do have all the mini lessons as a group if you need to look at them. Um, but anyway, go ahead and take it away, Paul. Thanks again. Okay, uh, this morning uh, we're gonna be talking about opening leads and um, I just want to give you an overview on a, a, a good way to, to view this. Um, usually the strategy on defense is when you're on opening lead, you're making a lead and you're hoping that there is some plan involved. Hopefully that's what you're doing. It's important that the partnership cooperate on that. So the um, partner of the opening leader should cooperate with that defense or if they decide that there is a better defense out there after they see the opening lead and dummy, they can switch the plans and then the opening leader has to switch too. The worst thing you can have is one person looking for a rough and the other person trying to pull Trump. You're never gonna get anywhere if, if you uh, do that. So uh, like I say, that's the important thing is to have the same plan for both uh, members of the partnership. Opening leads, there's two options that you have. You can do it based on the nature of your hand uh, or some defensive strategy that you're coming up with. Now, if this is your hand, the 13 spades, um, and if you're on opening lead, I can tell you right now, you're not bidding enough. But uh, other than that, we're gonna look at some opening leads based on your hand. You can lead from a sequence. Okay, and that's pretty obvious. We've done that. We'd lead from spades here, king, queen of clubs against, uh, in example B, queen of spades in C, and uh, either the ace or king of clubs, depending on how you play, uh, on D. And we're going to talk more about whether to lead the ace or the king. Leading from shortness is the second one. We always try to get a rough. Uh, we see in this first example here, that um, you can lead against a four spade contract. You lead a heart, partner wins with the ace, leads a heart back, you can rough it. Now you lead a diamond to partner's hand and you can rough another heart and that's the only way to beat this contract. How do you know to switch to a diamond instead of a club after you rough? Well, partner would lead back the nine of hearts, which is suit preference, which would say, uh, lead the higher of the two other two suits, which would be diamonds. So that would be the plan on that. You can also lead from a doubleton. That is usually less effective. There's less chance that you're going to get a rough, but uh, the chances increase if you have a trump control. So here you know that if you lead the heart, you're going to be able to get in again, hopefully, with the king of spades if the ace is with the opening bidder. And then you can lead another heart and hopefully get a rough. Do you guys understand that Trump control, a Trump entry is, yes. is what he's talking about there? So. Oh yeah, yeah. Now so I'm he, gonna give you some advice which I think is uh, controversial with a, a lot of people. I've tried to, with the people I play with to uh, stress this as far as uh, uh, leading goes I have people with thousands of master points who disagree with me, um, but I'm gonna give you this secret right now. <laughs> Against a suit contract, you don't lead a, a, in a suit with an unsupported ace. Unsupported ace means you don't have the king. So anything with ace and three small ones, ace, queen, fourth, anything like that uh, would be unsupported. If you have the ace um, and the king, that's a supported ace. You don't lead the ace in that situation and you'd never under lead the ace. By that, I mean you lead um, low away from the ace. Um, Is this clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I say, most people don't believe that. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, you can talk to, you know, maybe you want to believe Mike Lawrence. He, um, world champion, writes two articles every month for the Bridge Bulletin. And he had three articles over the years um, in which he's uh, discussed this issue. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but you can go back and get prior 
issues of the bulletin by going to my ACBL. You sign up for that, and then you can um, uh, go to the bridge bulletin and look in the archives. So here's an example. This is a hand that we actually played um, where we're in four spades after the opponents uh, had North had opened a diamond. South Sun lead and decided to lead the ace of diamonds uh, because it was partner's suit. Uh, and that seems like it would be a very reasonable thing to do, but quite often it can lead to disaster. And uh, well, not the worst disaster in the world, but they lost a trick here. Uh, they led the ace of diamonds and then another diamond and as a result set up our queen and let us make this contract. Any other lead and we don't have a chance. If a uh, partner gets in and leads a diamond, they lose three diamonds. If they never touch diamonds, they're going to lose three diamonds. Okay, so there are, of course, exceptions as to when you can lead the ace. You can lead the ace when you have the ace king. That would be a supported ace. And... Um, I suggest in that situation, I don't know if you play king from ace king or ace from ace king. Ace from ace king. Ace. Okay. Depends well, then on you if don't. It's a doubleton. Correct. Uh, so you, um, that gives the, um, if you're doing that, then partner knows when you lead the king that you've got the queen. So that's a good thing. Uh, and then because they know when you have the ace, you have the king because you don't under. Uh, you don't play it if it's unsupported. You can do it with shortness. If you have a singleton ace or the ace doubleton and you're looking for a rough. Uh, the last one, you can do it if you have a reason to believe that partner shortened the suit. Uh, this last example is another one that actually happened. South opened a diamond and over partner's spade response bid three clubs. Four clubs showed extra values by the North and then six clubs by South. I was on lead uh, with the West hand and um, that sounded like very strong bidding to me. So I normally I'd lead the Jack of Spades in a situation like this, but I knew that South had at least five diamonds, maybe six, I was looking at length and I thought that maybe the only chance to beat this would is, was if I found partner with shortness in diamonds. So I led the Ace of Diamonds and sure enough, I got lucky with three and dummy. I know that South has five, I have four. So therefore my partner's got a singleton. He dutifully played the two and then I would be able to get a rough. Um, a brilliant lead. Uh, I'm sure I would have gotten the Nobel prize for bridge. Made brilliant. The singleton, everything except, and this happens sometimes in bridge, my partner instead of roughing thought that they were in six no trumps. So he pitched a heart and of course they made the contract. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yes. So yeah. Paul was confident of the diamonds in the south hand because they opened a diamond and they ended up in six clubs because, you know, that would be showing more of a two suitor, right? Based on the right. bidding. And especially with the jump shift, you know, if you don't have a jump shift, they might be um, four, four or something like that with a, a singleton spade. But um, sometimes these jump shifts are based on wild distribution. So it would not be unusual to find uh, the opening bidder with six of them in that situation. So I just took a shot, like I say, I, it doesn't come up very often where it works, but, um, but you can give it a shot. Another uh, situation would be, you know, let's say you opened a uh, week two and then partner never supported you. Um, there may be a chance then that he shortened the suit. Okay, the other, another way uh, area is when the opponents preempt and you wanna see dummy before you make a plan. So in this case, we had uh, South open four spades and you really don't know what to lead. You, you usually declare in this situation is not gonna have a lot outside because they'd open one spade and then jump if they had a really good hand. So in order to continue, you want to see what dummy looks like. In this case, uh, it would seem that leading the queen of diamonds would be a, a good lead, but uh, this will cost you an over trick. Instead, if you lead the ace of hearts and you see dummy, you know, especially after partner encourages that the only place you're gonna get tricks is in the heart suit. So you can take two heart tricks um, 
otherwise declare is going to be able to play three rounds of clubs and, and pitch one of their hearts. So um, this holds them to five instead of making six. Every um, time I try that, South ends up void in hearts. Yeah, that's right, Carlene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's a that's a risk, but you're right. It, it, that kind of but, but he she talked risk. about the bid there, Carlene. So typically, you know, if you have a void, you might be interested in more. So a lot oh, of your, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't yeah. have. You wouldn't yeah. have preempted. Okay. You should. You shouldn't. That doesn't mean people won't. You know what I mean? People will do preempts yeah. with a void, but yeah, um, a lot of people won't. So anyway, well, yeah. especially if um, opening or if uh, the declare is in third seed and they know that partner mm -hmm. doesn't have an opening hand, it's unlikely that they have the aces that they're going to need, so they might do it with a void. Um, also, leading an ace in, in an unbad suit when they, you know, everybody tries to get to three no trump, right? Instead of five of a minor. So if they play around, they dance around three no trump, they don't bid it, it, there's a good chance that nobody has, in our case here, uh, a spade stopper. We have North showing hearts, South showing clubs, North saying, I got clubs too. South saying, well, I got diamonds. Maybe we could do something in spades. And North says, no, nah, I can't bid three no Trump. And South says, bids four clubs saying, I can't bid three no Trump. In that situation, if you got a suit with the ace, go ahead and lead it. I've done I've led the ace from ace queen in those situations. That's if you can trust the opponent's bidding, of course. Okay, leads best based on a defensive plan. Uh, now, once again, we're talking about suit contracts like we were in the first one. Leading partner suits always a good idea unless you have some other plan. You can lead a trump to prevent, to prevent roughs. Typically, you would do that in a situation where, um, well, let's um, let's get there, and I'll show you the hand. Okay, you can see the hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so in this case, South has opened one spade, and then rebid hearts. They've gotten to four hearts on on this contract. Uh, they have a looking at these two hands. They have a good chance of making it if they can. Um, if South can rough some spades and dummy, you with the ace queen 10 behind the one spade bidder know very well that uh, you're going to get some spade tricks as long as they don't get roughed and dummy. So in this case, you could start out with the four of hearts. Everybody follows and South uh, wins. Um, goes to dummy with a club. Leads a spade, hoping that the ace is on side and say they play the jack. You win your queen. Now you can play ace of hearts. And a third heart. Uh, let's just pitch a spade. And it's all over. You got him. And now South is limited to just one rough and dummy. Any other lead, if they never pull Trump, they're going to make four on this hand. So let me get back to the presentation. Okay, another one. This is a, a kind of a hidden trick, and a lot of people don't know it. But if the opponents open a suit, they respond in a suit, and then they end up playing in a third suit, it's quite often a good idea to play Trump um, because the, otherwise they might be able to set up a, a cross rough. Here, a diamond opening, a spade bid, two clubs, three clubs, leading a Trump would not be bad. Um, another thing is a forcing defense where if you have long Trump, you try to make declare rough to shorten his Trump and make your little Trumps good. Um, here's a contract where they're in four spades. Looking at these two hands, four spades looks like a lot. You're going to lose a spade. You're not going to lose any hearts. You may lose a diamond for two tricks, and then at most you're going to lose one club. So you're going to lose three tricks, and you're going to make this contract. 
which you should be happy to be in four spades with this contract. But let's see what happens. And I will admit that this is an un unlucky, unlucky hand for uh, Declare. But West is on lead with long trumps. He's going to try to get roughs. Oh. Starts with the king of hearts. The player wins the ace, tries to pull trump. We play small and uh, pitch a club here. Or any oh. other card. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> All right. Declare gets declare gets the bad news, but tries to play another round. You duck again. Um, now declare. Oh, and um, now declare sees the the problem. Starts with the queen of diamonds and tries to set up the king. Plays small. The king comes out. Another heart partner is is um, going along with his partner's strategy of leading to make him rough. You get a rough. Third spade gets led. Now you win your ace. Lead another heart. Rough. Uh, now you can try pulling the last trump. But that's not going to work because you're going to get in with the ace of clubs and, and lead hearts. So instead, you can try, let's see, we let a heart. This We're going back here. Um, you've won that. Now, in, you know that leading a trump's not going to work because the ace of clubs is still out. So you can play your diamonds. This is called forcing defense. I do talk to you guys tried quite a bit. So you guys will be able to see this on the recording. But what it is is getting them the trump in the long hand so they eventually lose control and you can you can win those tricks. So I love this line of defense. And that's exactly what you're doing. Now you're trying to cash your last diamond, but that little four of spades becomes a trick. So you've succeeded here because now you just leave the club and that's your fourth trick. Mm -hmm. so, so don't be afraid if you see it you know that the declare is out of that suit to, to have them trump i hear that a lot well i know they're out they can trump it that's okay <laughs> all right that doesn't help them all right so we do gotta wrap it up uh paul thank you well, very you much know, I'm, I'm done anyway so yeah well I, I know you'll just keep talking if we don't end it though you know well i can tell interesting stories about my life if you'd be interested in <laughs> All righty, guys. We'll, we'll see you over at the game. Thanks again, Paul. All right. Thanks. Good luck today.